okay welcome to this video where we are going to be looking at um, installation and um, environmental setup so if you already have um, python installed you already have um, numpy installed on your system then feel free to skip this video otherwise let's see what we want to set up so in this video we are going to be looking at how to install the python interpreter that's the first we are going to be installing because that's going to help us write our python codes and next we'll look at how we can install numpy so if you install the python interpreter uh, you can go ahead and install numpy from the command prompt using the um, python package ma package manager which is called pip um, now if you don't want to install you, want to, you don't want to go to the stress of installing these two packages you don't want to go to the stress of installing um, the python interpreter and then go ahead to install numpy then you can install the anaconda distribution now this is the distribution this distribution comes with a lot of packages. It has numpy installed in it already. It has some other packages which which along the line we might need, uh, but I don't really think we are going to need that. We are going to focus on just Python and um, and then um, numpy. But this has a whole lot of packages involved. So if you're a data scientist, um then you should go ahead and install the anaconda distribution because you're going to meet up meet some other libraries there that you're going to need um in some other module or some other course you're going to be taking even if it's not this one okay so we install it in the python interpreter numpy but if you don't want to do that so it, it's more like this is the second option while this two gives us the first option okay you must install this two or you install just this one so that's what's going to happen now if you want to install the python interpreter all you need to do is to go to your um, browser and look for python so you just um type python download and i think the first um the first link that will pop up you just install the latest version of python you click on this and then to ask you to download it you click on save and it will go ahead and download and i'm not going to do that because i already have python downloaded so once you have it downloaded all you need to do is to install it now when you're installing it just use the default setting the only part where I, I think you need to specify is when you're asked to add python to parts okay so just be looking at the screens as you're trying to install there will be a part they'll ask you to add python to part make sure you add python to parts so that it will be registered as one of the environmental variable and you can go ahead and um, work with python on your command prompt okay on your system so if you add python to parts now you have python installed just to make sure python is installed this is what you have to do you check your cmd your command forms and then go ahead and type python okay if you have this repo popping up without any error then it means you have python already you have python successfully installed okay so i am going to exit this by saying exit with uh, my parenthesis so once i've done that now um, the next thing I need to do once I know that Python is successfully installed, I have to install pip, um, numpy rather, using the pip um, command. So I will say pip install numpy. So that's what I'm going to do. But I think I already have numpy installed, so it's going to tell me that this is already satisfied. So um, it's still going to take time. So in one case, I'm going to cancel it. Now for you to install this, you I, I cancel it actually I use control C to cancel it so for you to install this you need to have internet connection okay and it's going to take a couple of them um, seconds for it to get installed so these are the two options we have um the first one we have we install python interpreter then we install the numpy using the pip um install numpy that's going to install it for us now if you don't want to use that your you, the second option you have is to install the anaconda distribution so how do we install the anaconda distribution the same thing we just have to check for anaconda downloads and then it's going to give us this option then the first one should take us to the anaconda um page home page so you just have to scroll down you scroll down to where you see downloads where okay so we have this so you have 64 bit graphic installer and it's about 466 megabytes so if you have up to that go ahead this for 64 bit if you're using 32 bit this one you go ahead to install okay so any of this uh would actually work fine for you so in one case i have to install this 
but again I'm not going to download or install that because I already have this installed so for this if you're installing this just go through um, their default or their cost their default installation just next 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 install I do and that is all okay so once you have an Anaconda installed um, the next thing you need to do is say hey, in one case I'm going to be making use of an Anaconda you can go ahead and use Jupyter Notebook so in the next video uh, what I'll do is I'll show you guys um, okay not in the next video actually after um, the, we've gone to the theoretical aspect when we come to um, the practical aspect I'll show you guys how to use the Python interpreter uh, which comes with his own ID and how to use Jupyter Notebook. So we are going to use both libraries. So after that, I'm going to be focused on Jupyter Notebook. However, whatever I do on Jupyter Notebook, you can replicate that in whatever ID you're using. Okay? You can replicate that in whatever ID you're using. So that's it, guys, for this video. Um, if you like this video, it has helped in any way go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you're going to be notified whenever i upload new videos i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye